To start with the vendor down payment process, in SAP S4HANA using Fiori, we will create a new business partner via application Manage Business Partner Master Data. This one over here. Now click on Create, Organization, select the grouping, then store some more dummy information, and then also insert the role called FLVN00 for the supplier financial accounting data. Click on OK. And by the way, if you want to find out more about the business partner, I have a whole playlist that I will leave you in the description of this video. So far, so good. For now, in my system, I need to store the authorization group because it's mandatory. Also, we will include bank account information. So click on bank accounts, create, provide a country, a bank key and an account number. Then navigate into the details and click on Propose IBAN. Now we will just store a validity over here and click on Apply. So far, so good. Now let's navigate into the role by clicking on Roles. Navigate into this one and now click on Company Codes. Insert your company code via Create 1010 in my example. And then quite important, we need to store the reconciliation account. In this case, you must select the reconciliation account that is mapped to a special general ledger. So in my case, I will take payables domestic and this one here is actually mapped to one of those over here so to a down payment reconciliation account okay also we need to store our payment methods so i'll just take t sepa credit transfer and that's it click on apply and now the data is sufficient click on apply again all information was filled accordingly we can click on create now we copy the number over here and we will create a so-called down payment request via the application called manage supplier down payment requests. This one over here. Click on create. Now I insert the company code 1010 in my instance, the journal entry date as well as the posting date, our journal entry type and our currency. And here on the line item level, we only need to store one line item for our supplier. Then you have a so-called target special general ledger indicator. And via this general ledger indicator, our deviating reconciliation account that I was talking about before will be selected. We store an amount, let's say 10,000. Then we click on this arrow over here. More information is now being displayed. We need to store at least the tax code, let's say non-taxable for now, and a due date. And that's basically it. You can also already see that here, this is the alternative GL account I was talking about. This is derived from the special general ledger indicator A. So there is a mapping table in the customizing saying that for our general ledger account 211 and a couple of zeros that we stored in the business partner, if we select this special ledger indicator, then it will be mapped to this general ledger account over here. So far so good, we can click on post. The journal entry has been successfully posted. We can display the journal entry and here we can see that we only have a credit of 10,000 to the so-called down payment request reconciliation account. Next off, we will transform this down payment request to a real down payment. Therefore, you have two options. Either you can do it manually or you can also do it automatically. I always prefer the automatic way. This I will show you right now via manage automatic payments application. Click on this one. By the way, I also have more videos on the automatic payment run. I will leave them in the description of this video. Click on create parameters, identification and click on create. Select the company code, the next payment date, the payment method. In our case, it was T, and then the supplier and then click on save. Now click on schedule, proposal, start immediately and schedule. Now the proposal was processed. We can inspect the details. You can see one payment could be processed and this is exactly the one we created before via the down payment request. So let's go back, select the line, schedule payment, start immediately and schedule. Refresh the lock, then let's see the details now. You can see one payment was triggered successfully. By now we created the down payment request and we converted the down payment request via the payment run to a real down payment. Next off it's time to create the actual invoice from our supplier. So we navigate to the application called Create Supplier Invoice. This one over here. Now we will select Invoice as a transaction, the invoicing date, the invoicing party, a reference, and also the gross invoice amount, let's say 15,000. Remember, our down payment was 10,000. So far, so good. Let's scroll down. Up until we see GL account items, let's click on Add. Debit is the right indicator. Our GL account, the amount, also 15,000. Then show details, select the tax code. Also, 
we need an account assignment. And here you can see one message, 10,000 euro down payments exist. So this means that our system now sees that 10,000 euro of down payment already exists and the invoice is 15,000. So meaning that later on, when we pay the rest to our supplier, the payment run will only pay 5,000, which is the difference between the 15,000 which are due and the 10,000 we already paid. So far so good, we can click on check. Otherwise all is fine, we can click on post. You can see the document was posted successfully. Do you want to create a new supplier invoice? No. So far so good, the last step is now to clear our down payment with the invoice we received from our supplier. So to clear the 15,000 against the 10,000. This is done via the application called Clear Outgoing Payments Manual Clearing. Select this one. Now select the right company code and also for the line item type select down payments. Click on go. You can see this is our down payment over here, the 10,000, select this one. Now just verify the header data over here and then you can see we can clear them against our invoice of 15,000. Click on clear. You just need to adjust the allocation amount which is 10,000 and click on enter. Now the balance is green meaning that we can post. So this means that now I will clear the supplier invoice against the already paid 10,000 so that 5,000 will be remaining in the end. Click on post. You can display now the journal entry and here you can see the down payments is now cleared and the payables domestic as well. So 5,000 are now remaining. Last but not least, let's now conduct a payment run for the remaining 5,000 euro. Therefore, we navigate to manage automatic payments again. Now we click on create parameters, identification, create. Now select the company code, the next payment date, the payment method, and then again our supplier. Okay, then save the parameters and now click on schedule. Proposal, start immediately and schedule. You can see one proposal was created. Let's inspect the proposal. And here we can see the remaining 5,000 euro in this instance. So the difference between the value of the whole invoice subtracted by the value of the down payment. Okay, so far so good. Let's go back. Now let's select the line and then we click on schedule payment. Start immediately and schedule. Now one payment was processed. Let's inspect the payment itself. And here we can see 1,000 euro was paid and thereby the whole invoice is now cleared. We can also click on payments. Here we can see the payment itself and we can click on the payment document number, click on manage journal entries and here you will now see the journal entry. In this case, it's a debit to the payables domestic and a credit to our bank account. This marks the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, then please subscribe to the channel and activate the bell. See you next time.